Welcome to Dyslipidemia Concept Map from Zoom Out Pharmacotherapy. The aim of this map is to cover the pharmacotherapy of dyslipidemia in an easy and an interesting way that will help you understand the topic and link it with the other related cardiovascular diseases as atherosclerosis. The concept map of dyslipidemia starts with the definition. Dyslipidemia is a disorder of elevated or abnormal levels of lipids and or lipoproteins in the blood, characterized by high cholesterol, triglycerides or both, or low high-density lipoprotein level. From this definition branches out the normal physiology of lipid metabolism, including what is meant by lipoproteins, function of lipoproteins, and their classification. Low-density lipoproteins carry cholesterol from the liver to cells of the body. It is referred to as the bad cholesterol. LDL has a role in initiating the atherosclerosis process. This is how dyslipidemia is a risk factor for atherosclerosis and consequently cardiovascular diseases. And here is a small map for cardiovascular diseases categories. Lipid metabolism is explained briefly through this diagram. The intestine absorbs dietary fat and converts it into chylomicrons, which are transported to peripheral tissues through the blood. The enzyme lipoprotein lipase breaks down chylomicrons and fatty acids enter muscle and adipose tissues. The chylomicrons remnants are subsequently taken up by the liver to start the process of VLDL synthesis. VLD LDLs undergo lipolysis by lipoprotein lipase to form LDLs. Then, LDLs are taken up by the liver and by the peripheral tissues. HDL is produced by the liver. Its function is to transport cholesterol from the body back to the liver. That is why it is called good cholesterol. Regarding dyslipidemia clinical presentation, most patients are asymptomatic, although these signs and symptoms can be present. Dyslipidemia is classified into primary and secondary dyslipidemia. Primary dyslipidemia occurs due to genetic mutations. It affects lipoprotein synthesis and metabolism, causing these lipid disorders. Primary dyslipidemia is suspected in one of these cases. And this is should be considered in the diagnosis. On the other hand, secondary dyslipidemia can be caused by the following diseases or drugs. These causes should be considered in the diagnosis and the management of dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia risk factors are classified as positive risk factors, negative risk factors, emerging risk factors. The negative risk factor is high HDL, which its presence enables subtracting one from the positive risk factors. Diagnosis of dyslipidemia is based on the fasting lipid profile of the patient accompanied by the assessment of cardiovascular risk factors using Framingham Risk Score. Framingham Risk Score predicts person's chance of having coronary heart disease in the next 10 years. 
These are the three categories of risk that modify LDL goals. Number one is the high risk category, which is coronary heart disease and coronary heart disease risk equivalents, followed by the category of patients with two or more risk factors to whom Framingham 10 year CHD risk assessment should be performed. The third category is for patients with zero or one risk factor to whom 10 year risk assessment is not required. These risk categories are linked to treatment goals. Treatment part of the map starts with dyslipidemia treatment goals, classified according to the risk category, as stated before. And targets of treatment which is primarily LDL. Non-pharmacological treatment includes therapeutic lifestyle changes and dietary recommendations. Pharmacological treatment of dyslipidemia includes four classes of lipid-lowering drugs, which are the statins, the bile acid binding resins, the fibrits, and niacin, in addition to the cholesterol absorption inhibitor, azadimib, and omega-3 fatty acids. Each drug or drug class has its own map that covers the mechanism of action, indications, adverse effects, drug interactions, contraindications, and precautions. And for certain drugs, the map shows you how to manage an adverse effect or a drug interaction that concerns these drugs. For example, adverse effects of statins include elevated liver function tests. As a monitoring parameter for this adverse effect, liver function tests should be obtained at baseline and as clinically indicated. And for management, statin should be discontinued in case of persistent increase in ALT-AST ratio more than three times the upper limit of normal. This was an overview of dyslipidemia concept map. The map is also available as a folded poster at Zoom Out Pharmacotherapy website www.zoomout-ph.com. Thank you.